Good Tuesday, everyone. Looking at our weather map on, for today, we see a few showers across the northeast, a few showers across the Ohio Valley, and then a few across Arizona, New Mexico, and southern Florida. But other than that, there is not a whole lot to talk about. A very quiet weather day in store for much of the U.S. Look at our five-day forecast. It's pretty quiet for us, too. Um, Sunday, mostly sunny. Got some northwest winds, 5 to 10, a few gusts to 15. Highs in the mid to upper 50s, so a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. Not as not as windy. Monday, though, the winds kick back up again. West at 10 to 15, gusting to 25. Clouds and sun. Highs in the mid 60s. Most of us stay dry. Can't rule out a very isolated shower sprinkle. Tuesday, we're back to mostly sunny. West winds, 5 to 10, gusts to 15. Highs in the mid 60s. And Wednesday and Thursday feeling spring-like once again with uh, clouds and sun. Highs around 70, lows in the low to mid-50s, and just a south-southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And uh, right now, Wednesday and Thursday looking dry. I did put those 10% chances on there just in case the forecast does trend a little wetter then, but it's looking unlikely to do so, which is unfortunate because our rainfall deficit does continue to grow. Speaking of dry weather, back in 1871 on this day, prolonged drought and desiccating winds led to the Great Chicago Fire, the Peshtigo Horror, and the Michigan Fire Holocaust. Now, if you don't figure out from the names of those fires that they were pretty bad fires, then yeah, fire destroyed more than 17,000 buildings, killing more than 200 people in the city of Chicago. Peshtigo, Wisconsin had more than 1,100 people killed. Wisconsin, a million acres were burned. Michigan, 2.5 million acres were burned, killing another 200 people. Tornadoes of fire, some people call these uh, fire tornadoes or tornado swirls or fire swirls, generated by intense heat, caused houses to explode in fire and burned to death scores of persons seeking refuge in open fields. So, yeah, we talk about dry weather and drought because it can be a, a pretty serious matter. I mean, especially back in these days when all the structures were wood. So uh, certainly a disastrous day for those folks in history, for sure. Well, you folks have a wonderful Sunday, and let's hope we don't get much drier before we get some good rain. <laughs> but for more weather information, keep reading along at MiragesSmart.com. And to find out more about the Bigfoot Festival coming in a couple of weeks, go to UCBigfoot.com.